If we look back through time, there's always been this desire to get a higher picture. We continue to go higher and higher to get a better and better picture to understand what's going on. I'm Keith Masback. I've been working in the remote sensing field for over 30 years. Today I'm going to share with you just a few tips and tricks on how to look at satellite imagery. The coordinates are in the description if you want to follow along. So the first thing I'd say is that you never want to look at just one image. You want to understand context and you want to understand a place over time because that's really where you're going to start to be able to pull some real observations. The benefit of looking at some place over time is you're being able to see patterns. You're being able to see progression. Why don't we look at some examples in nature? One rule of thumb in the imagery analysis business is mother nature doesn't make a lot of straight lines. So your eye as an imagery analyst immediately goes to anything that looks perfectly straight. Another example is deforestation. Again, that's man-made activity that comes really, really clear on remote sensing, especially from space. Man tends to cut things in very clear patterns. So you see sort of football field size pieces disappear at a time. And it's very easy to see, despite whatever a country or a region or a company might be saying they're doing, it's pretty easy to call them out. So one case I might point to is what's going on in the Arctic and the retreat of glaciers. You can start to see how they're depositing sediment and how the sediment is being increasingly exposed to the sun. And instead of the very white ice reflecting the sun's rays, that sediment is actually collecting heat and contributing in turn to a faster retreat of those glaciers. Next, let's turn to man-made structures. Man-made activity that's certainly important in my background is looking at military activity. Military people tend to like order. They like to do things repeatedly. During the Cold War, we would watch the Soviets rigidly adhere to doctrine. They would always assemble their forces in the same way. And in fact, today even, the Russians still tend to do that. We're seeing very similar patterns to what we saw when they invaded Crimea several years ago. Their signature pieces of equipment, their signature activity, the way they railroad and move their forces, the way they're parked, the way they're aligned. These patterns are very easy to spot. Another sort of sad example of being able to use remote sensing in a very powerful way was in Darfur. While the government was claiming that nothing was going on, they were very effectively keeping the press out of the country, but Amnesty International and other organizations were able to bear witness from above. So again, through this idea of looking at images over time, non-governmental organizations and governments were able to look from above and see wholesale that villages were raised and burned, and that was clear indication that a genocide was underway. An interesting enigma for national security, for human rights, is taking a look at Korea. When we get a defector who comes across and wants to talk about the re-education camps, we can show them images from space and they can share with us. What are they seeing? How is the camp laid out? what happens where. And once we can understand that from someone who's been there, that allows us to understand that pattern. And then we can look in other parts of the country and identify, unfortunately, the spread of these facilities. Let's talk a little bit about how we can use remote sensing to understand the activity of individuals. Now, when we're talking about looking at the Earth from space, we're not looking at individual people. We can see the impact of lots of people over time. Something like Burning Man, is absolutely easy to spot from space. It has a very clear pattern. It's replicated every year, and you can actually watch over time how Burning Man has grown and changed from space. Whether you're looking out the window of an airplane or you're looking at a satellite image, try to look at it in a different way. Try to look at patterns you might not have noticed before. Look for what you don't see. Is there something missing that you would expect to see there? Just try and look with a different eye and I think you'll be pretty surprised.